Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be looking at this, the Logitech Pebble Mouse. This is the Logitech Pebble M350 wireless mouse, such a small, stylish mouse described by Logitech as being minimalistic, modern and silent. Certainly three things to take on board as initially, the Pebble feels like all of those three things rolled into one. Available in four matte coated colours, graphite, rose pink, blue and this one, off-white. The Pebble for me is the epitome of the modern budget mouse with its simple design, low price and led by the Logitech brand who excel in these type of accessories. At first you'll notice the Pebble being a lot more streamlined and flatter compared to most mice out there. This will take a bit of getting used to but by the end you'll be using this lightweight mouse as the device that is merely placed into position rather than dragged like other mice. Logitech state that this mouse is 90% quieter than previous mice. The Pebble features silent touch which allows you to click and scroll the mouse buttons and rubble scroll wheel without disturbing anyone whether you're at work, office, out and about or even at home compared to the chorus of clicking buttons and scrolling wheels from traditional mice that provide the soundtrack to many a workplace. I wouldn't say the scroll wheel is silent but it's certainly a lot quieter than many other mice. The left and right button pressing definitely benefits from the silent touch as other than the natural quiet contact of one part on another in the pebble you don't get that accustomed hard plastic on plastic sound. Overall regarding the silent touch I'd probably say it is probably quiet touch rather than silent but definitely an improvement. The dual wireless connectivity of the Pebble within a 10 meter radius means that you are able to connect to your computer, laptop or tablet by Wi-Fi via the supplied USB receiver, which lives conveniently under the magnetic key plate of the mouse, or by any Bluetooth enabled device with either Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS or iPad OS. Connection is simple using either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. I'm using this mouse on my Mac Mini and all I need to do is remove the USB receiver from the mouse, plug it into the computer, making sure the mouse is on, toggling the switch on the back of the mouse, ensuring the Wi-Fi connection mode is selected on the mouse, indicated by the green light with the button next to the power button, which switches between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth mode, and connection between the computer and the mouse is instantaneous. To pair the pebble and initially connect via Bluetooth, ensure the mouse is on, press the connectivity button for about three seconds to start pairing mode, indicated by the blue light, pair the devices and you are done. Once you've paired the devices, all you'll need to do is make sure the Bluetooth mode is on, indicated by the flashing blue light, and connection is automatic, just like what you'd expect from any other Bluetooth enabled device. With this mouse having two different modes of connection, there is nothing stopping you from connecting to your computer via the USB receiver. And if you are working simultaneously on, let's say your iPad, connect into the Pebble via Bluetooth. This way you can continuously switch between devices instantly and easily without the need of having more than one mouse. With the included battery that also fits under the magnetic key plate, Logitech say that you'll get 18 months of battery life with this, mainly thanks to the Pebble's auto sleep mode, which puts it into a low power mode when you're not using it for a long period of time. Obviously, battery life will vary depending on how often you use the mouse. I'll come back to you in 18 months time on my Twitter to let you know if it has lasted that long. The Pebble, with its simple, no thrills design, isn't for that person that relies on a mouse having multiple buttons for a multitude of different actions like an avid gamer would, or a person that is used to or prefers firmly holding the mouse within the palm of their hand, but more so for the casual or even professional user who has the opportunity to work on two devices, possibly travels a lot, and its price certainly reflects this, sitting in that budget bracket. I'm equally as happy to scroll through websites as I have been video editing on either the iPad or Mac. Its design, shape and size allow both left and right handed users to have the same comfortable experience mainly controlled in the finger grip position rather than the palm grip position. While its connectivity either via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth gives you that minimal latency and high precision optical mouse control and tracking at 1000 dpi between your interactions and what you see the cursor doing on screen. Yes, it doesn't come with additional side buttons, a battery indicator or customizable button options, but don't let those missing features detract you from the nice experience you're getting from using the Logitech Pebble. Don't let its small size put you off either. The way it's designed will allow you to comfortably use this mouse for hours on end, just like I do, as I use this mouse predominantly for hours at a time for my day job. I'll put the Amazon link to the Pebble in the description below. 
I like the Logitech Pebble. I like its name. By being simple in the way it looks and feels in the hand certainly makes you think about whether it's Pebble by name, Pebble by nature, and its ability to skip across the water or even the table like an actual Pebble. But fortunately, this Pebble belongs on your desk or table alongside your computer, Mac, laptop, tablet, or even your phone. And how nice does it look with other like-minded accessories like the Logitech K380 keyboard, which if you subscribe to my channel, you'll see a review on it in a later video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below or both if you want, click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.